Hey guys, Daryl, your Aviator 267. I'd like to take the time out of our daily grind and uh, usual work schedule to uh, make this video and introduce uh, the second video on our channel. For those of you loyal 18 subscribers out there, I'd like to show the love. You will remember Hilal is joining me today on this flight. Hi guys, uh, thanks for showing your love and support. We really do appreciate it. We're going to be putting up some new videos very soon. So stay tuned. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the videos. That's it guys, all that standard SOP, like, share, subscribe, comment, let us know what you think and uh, we'll be posting up more videos. Uh, like I said, it's been a month since the first video. Uh, the second one, for those of you who, who know me, uh, my wife last year gave the green light for me to buy uh, another aeroplane and like any self-respecting man, I took full advantage and blew that budget up. Uh, I'd like to thank her for her support, for her love. Uh, she took care of all the logistics involved in importing the aircraft in the country while I was away flying here in the desert and uh, as well to uh, Lissetti, my best friend, took care of the ground logistics, loading, unloading the aircraft. This next video is about 6-7 minutes long. It's a montage, time lapse of the assembly of the aircraft and some pictures of the before and after. So uh, if you guys like it, I'll be posting up more videos on uh, the registration process of the aircraft, the test flying and of course the first few flights. Thanks very much, guys. See you soon. By far, the most stressful part of this entire operation was this phase right here. Sitting over a thousand miles away and knowing the aircraft was being hoisted on the back of a truck to be driven 20 kilometers away by road. I put all my trust in the city and Melanie to pull this off. And they kept me up to date by sending me these videos 
and photos of every step of the operation. So here we are at the hangar, day one of assembly. And uh, this is the first time I've actually seen the aircraft complete. Uh, the only time I ever saw it was when I was at the factory over a year before the aircraft arrived, while it was still in production. So the first step in unboxing this aircraft is supporting the left hand wing and releasing it from its anchor point. At this stage, the right hand wing is still attached to its anchor point and the aircraft is allowed to pivot around that position. Once we've lowered the aircraft, we can open the canopy, remove the seat cover and access the battery. Now we need to connect the battery to the electrical system so that we can actuate the gear. And on this aircraft, we can isolate the left hand gear and extend each wheel independently. Now that the left hand gear is extended, we can lower the aircraft onto the nose wheel and the left main gear. And we'll switch camera angles, you'll see the right hand gear is still in its transit position and the right wing is still attached. So again we're going to support the right wing with the engine crane. Lift it high enough so that we can extend the gear fully and now lower the aircraft back down. So the fuel capacity on the Black Shade Prime, or specifically on serial number 22, this Black Shade, is the optional extended range. It's a 100 litre tank comprising of two 50 litre fuel cells. These fuel cells are made from rubber and uh, have a foam core. The safety feature prevents rupturing in the case of a crash landing. Now that the fuel cells are installed, we can uh, install the wings. They just simply slip over the fuel cells and uh, bolt into place. And then we can connect the control surfaces.
Coming to the end of day two and the final phases of assembly, doing the final checks on the controls, the lights, you know, lift the aircraft off the ground and retract the gear one by one. As I mentioned, we can isolate each wheel and retract it independently. Hope you enjoyed this video, it's a little longer than I would have liked, uh, so thanks for sticking out till the end. Here's some pictures of the aircraft finally assembled. Special thank you from Melanie and myself to EOV and Crystal who spent the two days with us putting the aircraft together. We enjoyed the time you guys spent with us and we look forward to having you with us again. So thanks for watching guys, let me know what you think about the video, if you have any questions about the black shape and any suggestions for upcoming content, we'll definitely be flying this aircraft a lot in the coming year, so let us know what you'd like to see.